Hey friends, this is the Mr. Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead. We are going to make today fried chicken. Now before we start our fried chicken, I need some buttermilk. I didn't realize I was out. So I've got a cup of whole milk here. And all you have to do is to take a lemon and a cup of whole milk and add about a teaspoon of lemon juice. Okay, our chicken has been rinsed and we have two thighs and with the breasts I just cut off and they're boneless. I just cut them off. There wasn't much of a breast there being a rooster. Now we're going to take this and we're going to coat it with some of my favorite chicken seasoning that I make up and keep in the cupboard for when I bake chicken or it's kind of a rub. We just want to make sure everything gets coated with this seasoning rub. You folks season your chicken however you want. I just like mine a little bit spicy. Now we're going to take our homemade buttermilk and we're going to put this in here and we're going to let this marinate in the fridge for a couple of hours. Okay, here's our chicken that's been soaking in our spices and buttermilk for the last few hours. And let's go get our flour ready. I also have my skillet heating with about three quarters of an inch of oil in it. Okay, let's make our dredging flour. And we're just going to take a Ziploc bag. We're going to take a Ziploc bag, a nice big one, and we're just going to drop about a cup of flour in the bottom, maybe a cup and a half. Then we're going to take some of my chicken seasoning spices, and I'm going to put about a tablespoon in there. Okay, maybe two. So I'm just going to shake it all up, and then we're going to do our chicken. First of all, we're just going to take our dredging flour and we're going to take our chicken and we're going to whoops we're going to drop it into the bag now we're just going to zip our bag closed and we're going to shake now it's been a long time since I made fried chicken folks so let's just hope I've remembered how to do it okay now we're going to test our oil to see if it's ready, if it's hot enough. I have it on medium high and we're going to turn it down to about medium because we really don't want to burn the outside of our chicken before the inside's cooked. I'm just going to take a little piece of my dredging flour and it's sizzling so this is all ready. Now we're going to start with the biggest pieces first. You want your oil hot but not sizzling. Well I guess you do want it sizzling. And we're just going to lay the chicken in there. Now you don't want to overfill your pan for the simple reason it will cool the oil down too quick. We'll put our drumsticks in our thighs in. And we're going to keep turning these so that they don't overcook on one side. You just want to kind of keep turning them. See, they're already getting golden brown, but we don't want the outside burnt, but we want the inside cooked. Doesn't that look yummy? Mmm, 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 doesn't that look good? Let's get Papa to the table. It's been about 15 years since I made fried chicken. Mmm. This is the rooster that uh, pissed you off. Yes, that's a breast. There's no, there's no bone in that. It's hot. No kidding. I just cooked it. Mm. Very tasty. This is the Mrs. Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead saying, got too many roosters? Have fried chicken.